Hello my dear munchkins, I hope you are doing well. In today's class we are going to learn how to conjugate and use the verb gustar. It's a verb that is really important and super useful in Spanish and unfortunately a lot of you have problems with that one and that's why we have this video. If you are a super master and you already know how to use this one, I still invite you to watch the video because maybe you are missing something. And if you have no idea and people still look at you like, what are you trying to say when you are talking? This video is for you, okay? So, here we are. This video is real. <laughs> this verb is super important and unfortunately a lot of people have problems with this one. And I'm going to tell you why. So, since you start learning Spanish, everyone says, okay, the pronouns are this, okay? So, the pronoun is going to be yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, ustedes, ellos, o ellas, okay? And they teach you, you have to use them all, that's the equivalent in, in, in sorry, in Spanish for I, you, he, she, Yes, that's totally right. But something that you are missing is some verbs, they don't use this pronoun. They use the indirect pronoun that we already checked in another video. So how are, which ones are those? Well, we have me, te, le, nos, Les and les. Those are the pronouns that we are going to use with this verb and other verbs that I'm going to tell you at the end. Okay? So, these ones. For now, just remember these ones. The other ones are not important right now. So, don't forget, don't worry about them. Just focus on these ones. Okay? The other part is... We have more conjugations, but the ones that we use more, it's going to be gusta and gustan, okay? So the question is like, so why? Like, when I use one instead of the other? Well, it's actually pretty simple, guys. This one, it's singular. And this one, it's plural, okay? So every time when you want to refer that you like something and you are talking about one thing, you have to use this one, okay? Or plural, the other one. So we have to choose one of these ones, okay? First, I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to give you another example. So, te gusta el chocolate. Okay, one more thing, guys. I know that in English you don't say you like the chocolate, but in Spanish we always need the article. Okay, don't forget the article. In here it's el, but it can be la if it's feminine. Okay, the other one will be te gustan los dulces. You like candies, okay? So in here, yes, we are talking about all the chocolate, but it's a singular, so that's why we use singular. And in here, it's plural, candies. So that's why we are using plural, okay? Don't forget the, uh, uh, the article, okay? So that's the first example. Another example, it's going to be with the third person. Because in here, people have even more problems than in the other ones. So, we have to use le. But, as you can see, and it's really obvious, if you use me, it's going to be for me. If you use te, for you. If you use nos, it's going to be for uh, us. But if you just use le can be confusing and maybe you are not sure who you are maybe the other person is not sure you 
who you are talking about. So the key here is just like in English, for example, if you are already talking about someone specific, then you can just use le. But if you haven't mentioned the person, you are just going to start a new conversation. You need to know who you are talking about. And that's going to be like this. For example, a Max le gusta el pollo. Okay? So, if I don't say a Max, I'm just going to say le gusta el pollo. And you are going to think like, aha, uh -huh, who? So, if you haven't introduced or you, uh, or you haven't, express who you are talking about you need to add it with first an a then the name of the person or pet or whoever you want to express and then the indirect pronoun gusta and article pollo okay a max le gusta el pollo if we are already all talking about Max, I don't have to add a Max. I can just leave it like that, okay? And in the plural form will be the same. A Max le gustan las pelotas, okay? Article because it's plural, yes? Perfect. Also, sometimes, for example, in here we have a max, but you can also add, uh, sorry, a uh, el. You know, you can also add the pronoun. And in here, yes, we are going to use it, but look at this. A el and then le gusta. But there is no way you can say a le gusta. No. Like this and then le gusta, okay? A el. In there, you can use the subject pronoun but bis, uh, but close to this one no okay before this one always has to be the indirect pronoun okay well so that's um that's one thing the other one that i have seen a lot it's uh nos gusta a correr so, I know that in English you say, I like to run, but in Spanish, it's not like that. So, we can do the opposite. And in, in, in English, you don't have to say, I like the chocolate, but in Spanish, we have to. And in English, you have to say, I like to run, but in Spanish, we don't. So, if you're using a verb, you just have to write the verb in, in an infinitive way, okay? So, we say that with nouns, you have to use an article... And depending if it's like la or el or los or las. But in here, no preposition, okay? No preposition. Please don't do that. <laughs> and also, something you need to know, if you are using a verb, a verb it's always going to be with the singular form. There is no way you can say, nos gustan correr. No, okay? Always with the verb no preposition and it has to be infinitive, okay? No preposition, the other verb infinitive and always singular form, okay? And so we have two verbs that normally we use to um, say that we like to do things, but then we add even more. So this verb is the verb ir, to go. So for example, me gusta ir con mis amigos. Okay? I like to go with my friends. Okay? So, we have gusta, the verb ir, and then a preposition. Con mis amigos. Okay? Remember, I already made another video one about the verb ir with prepositions and in that one you can find also other prepositions. For example, you can say 
Me gusta ir de compras. Ok, I like shopping. ¿Ya? Yeah? That's that what it means. Me gusta ir de compras. Me gusta ir uh, de camping. Me gusta ir de vacaciones. Ok, so if you have a question with this, you can look for that verb. That is, uh, sorry for that video. Ir plus prepositions. Ok, and it's going to happen the same with, for example, salir. To go out. Me gusta salir a correr con mis perros. So, we have gusta, singular, then the verb salir. But look at this. Then I have other two verbs. Well, another verb after, salir. And in here, we need a preposition, okay? Salir a correr con mis perros. So, I like to go out to run with my dogs. I know that it's a lot. You can just say, I, I like running with my dogs, but in Spanish, it's like this. So, if you are going to have salir plus another verb, You have to use the preposition. There's no way you can say, me gusta salir, correr. No. Preposition. It happens the same with ir. You, to you can totally replace this salir for ir. And it will happen the same. Me gusta ir a correr con mis perros. Okay? Remember, between ir and another one, another verb, you have to write the preposition a. Yeah? Okay, so we are doing good with this. And there is one more thing I had to say. But uh, yeah, remember, with the nouns, we have to use articles. With the verbs, they have to be in infinitive, no preposition. But if you are using the verb ir or salir, you have to use the preposition plus up after those, no before. So, I have something else to say, and it's going to be the following thing. So, as I already told you, there are some times when you can use the subject, uh, uh, the <laughs> uh, subject pronoun, <laughs> and it's going to be when you have With no all of them for, but some of them, for example, a él, a ella, a usted, a nosotros, a ustedes, a ellos. Okay? So, When you want to emphasize that you are saying that I like flowers and I really want to emphasize that, I can add this little part. A mí me gustan las flores. Okay? A mí me gustan. It's to emphasize, okay? Is to emphasize more like in these ones that you already understand. Yes. Uh, because, for example, in here we will be using nos. So it's super clear. In here will be te. And so in this three, it's really clear. So mostly it's to emphasize. The other ones, sometimes it's actually to be sure who you are talking about, you know, as I told you, like, if you, I, right now, I want to tell you that my cat loves something, but I don't mention my cat, you are not going to know who I'm talking about, so I have to add. I can either say a ella, or I can say a mi gata le gusta comer pescado. Okay, so look, look how in here I 
have to add the preposition, but then I can say mi gata, or I can say ella, or I can say her name, like Amaya, okay? So this part, we can play around with the name, saying my sister, my daughter, my whatever, or your sister, your daughter, your friends, okay? But don't forget the A. A mi gata le gusta comer pescado, okay? And with this one, it's going to be the same. A ustedes, a ellos, okay? So, and another thing that is super, super important. So, I know that in Spanish, we told you that sometimes we skip pronouns, okay? For example, I can say, I work, and instead of saying, yo trabajo, I can just say, trabajo, okay? This is great. It's perfect. You can totally do it. Please keep doing it. But with the verb gustar, it doesn't apply. You have to say me gusta or me gusta. There is no way you can skip this me or te or le. No. You have to add it all the time. Okay? Don't try to skip it. You cannot do it. You have to have it there. <laughs> okay. So, uh, that was the thing. And one more thing. Probably you already hear that sometimes we say también o tampoco. Okay. También, tampoco. So, for example... If I say, me gustan las flores, and you want to say, oh, me too, look at this. A mí también. You cannot say, me gustan también, no. You can say, a mí también, like me too, just that. You can even say, a mí también me gustan, but that's too much, just with a mí también, okay? But you cannot say, me gusta también. You have to say, a mí también, okay? What about if I say, no me gustan las flores? And you want to say, oh, me neither, a mí tampoco, Okay? So, if you want to use también or tampoco, you cannot use me gusta o te gusta o le gusta. No, 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 no. We are going to use the first part. So, for example, if I say, Amaya no le gusta la naranja. Okay, so Maya doesn't like orange. Uh, you can say, a mi gato tampoco. That's the, uh, the explanation. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of examples besides that, of course. And remember that the next video is going to be a conversation using, of course, this verb. Okay? So, for example, me gusta... Mucho salir a caminar. Okay, so I really like to go out. Okay, me gusta mucho salir a caminar. And then, if I want to ask you, and you, like, do you like, I'm not going to ask, y tú, I'm going to ask, Y a ti, okay, and the other person can say, a mí también, okay, I can also tell you, or no me gusta, correr, En las tardes. I don't like to run in the afternoons. A mi hermana 
tampoco. ¿Ok? Ahora, una pregunta. A question. ¿Te gusta el pescado? Do you like fish? ¿Te gusta el pescado? Mm, más o menos. No. O sí. <laughs> ok. So here are some examples where you can use it. Uh, I'm going to write in here some verbs that we also use with this um, type of uh, conjugation. Ok. One that I like to use and I'm going to make another video of this verb. We have, for example, gustar, we have encantar, and encantar is, for example, uh, you can say me gusta mucho, and then we have encantar. Encantar is another level, it's kind of like I love it, okay? So, we say me gusta, then in here we me encanta. Okay, and I hear a lot, of, a lot of people say, me encanta mucho. That's super incorrect because you already are, like, encantar means, like, you love it. I know that in English you can say, I love it a lot. And actually with the verb amar, you can say it, but with encantar sounds really weird. Okay, so, me encanta, no mucho. Okay, for example, then we have the verb doler. Doler is like when you have pain. Me duele. Ok. Then fascina. Fascinar. Again, when something that you really like, you feel fascinated about. Fascinated about that. Me fascina. No, oh, sorry. Me fascina. Then we have. Oh. We have two more, and with that, we are going to be done, guys. So, we have caer bien y agradar. And then I'm going to leave you homework. Me cae bien, me agrada. So, I want you to tell me in the comments why I, when I use me gustas versus me agradas o me caes bien. Okay? So this tree means I like you. So I want you to tell me when do I have to use me gustas versus me agradas. That's going to be the homework. And of course, I'm going to make a video explaining why you have to use one instead of the other. But for now, it's going to be your homework. Okay? Well, that was the explanation. I hope it was a good explanation. And I like explain you everything. If you have questions, please let me know. I'm gonna be happy to answer your questions. Um, wait for the video. I'm gonna make a video with the conversation, of course, so you can um, so you can hear how people normally express things that they like, they do not like, and for sure we are all. Also gonna use verbs, verbs like me encanta, me fascina, me cae bien, me agrada. Okay, so I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.